real estate, what's really appreciated is the lister, you know, the person who who goes out and, uh, and develops the trust and the relationship with people and they trust the property to them. Selling is also valuable, but you can't sell anything if you haven't got it to sell. And so the first thing is... And, and all those vendors are different and all their houses are different. Yeah. But does that necessarily mean that there's a different approach taken to each and every, each and every house based on that first... Well, there are a common set of... Um, of uh, challenges which uh, fit them all, but each mm. individual one mm. has um, a different set of them. Mm. So you might have, mm. if there, if we could nominate that there were 20 different challenges, one house might have 11, mm. the next one four, the next one 19. Mm. You know, so, and each one of them uh, needs to be carefully thought about. But it's not just the property. Mm -hmm. um, as I like to tell people um, and find it so true that there's pure advice. Okay. Pure advice is just about the money. Mm. It's about how much, how you go about getting the best money for a property. And what I do is I can sit down and I can say, if it were mine, mm. this is the advice I would give myself. Mm. And, and then I would reel off the things to do. Mm. But every person mm. um, has some personal circumstances and experience that mm. needs to be uh, catered for. So, for example, it's no good uh, in certain instances suggesting that a 90-year-old lady should auction her property if she's not physically and mentally up to it. It's just too much. Yes. Uh, equally, if someone doesn't have the budget to go down a certain track in terms mm -hmm. of what I might ultimately do if it were mine, mm -hmm. you've got to be able to mould your advice about mm -hmm. around the personal circumstances. Mm -hmm. People have varying degrees of motivation in their in the reasons that they might sell and the timing they might sell in every individual one. Mm -hmm. You need to ask a number of questions to ascertain the, well, you can still give the pure advice, but you have mm -hmm. to cater mm -hmm. for um, you know what their personal circumstances are. I call this being courageous with your advice mm -hmm. because too often agents will only tell what the person wants to hear. Mm -hmm. yes. Uh, and uh, I think they need a little bit of the pure advice to understand, mm -hmm. but I've always got to be open to the, the need for filtered advice in the end. And then at least I feel better about having opened up the discussion about mm -hmm. the various options that are available and eventually mm -hmm. you come to some conclusion. 840, down the middle now at 850 on the right hand side. And number 12, $850,000, $850, bid away to the right hand side now, looking for 860 if you like. At eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars on the right hand side now, at eight hundred and fifty. Eight hundred and fifty thousand. At eight hundred and fifty thousand, bid away to the right hand side now at eight hundred and fifty. At eight hundred and fifty thousand. At eight hundred and fifty. Eight hundred and fifty thousand looking for eight sixty. Your opportunity to bid for the property at eight hundred and sixty thousand dollars now. At eight hundred and fifty, we have it on the right hand side. Eight hundred and sixty, back in number six.